How's it going guys? Me David here for another shave and today I'm going to be testing out a brush. My buddy Busta when he was down here in California had brought me the Vibe Long Lord Randall brush. I believe it's by, is it West Coast Shaving or Bull Goose? I'm not really sure. It's one of the, one, either West Coast Shaving or Bull Goose. It's an exclusive brush made to their spe specifications by Vibe Long. Supposedly some of the top quality best badger hair you're going to be able to get around. And this is the version one. They made a second version that came in a different color handle. This is the first version with the green and black. The handle is not my thing. Uh, the whole green and black thing isn't my ordeal. But of course, this is my first time using it. I wanted to go color coordinate. So today I'm gonna go with So Commander Respect. And this is gonna be the first test that I get for this brush. I'm not sure if I'm going to videotape all my tests on the brush, but the first test is gonna be uh, an easy one. It's going to be tested on a medium, hard, medium, soft artisan soap, like Soap Commander. Then I'm going to probably go to a hard soap, probably Tabac, or a Coloniali, or maybe one of the SVs, possibly. I'm not sure which one. I'm kind of in the mood for Tabac, but a Coloniali is one of my favorite soaps also as well, along with Tabac. So it's probably going to be a battle in between those two. And then, of course, I'll go ahead and tackle a cream. So this is going to be the first one. Now if you are a fan of Buster's videos, you, you will have seen that this is one of his favorite badger, uh, badger brushes. He didn't keep many badger brushes. He purged a bunch of them and he actually sent a bunch to me to give away in starter kits. And he gave some badass brushes, let me tell you. Um, there's some high school kids right now with probably some nicer brushes than some of us have. So. But they enjoy it, they're using them, but the damnedest thing about it is now they're hitting me up for even more blade refills. So it's not a lot of money, but I'm like, damn, can't you get your parents to jump on a website and order you some shit? I just wanted to get you started. I don't want to support your habit along with my own. So I'm probably going to hit up Dave Mendoza or at, the, uh, at uh, Razor Blades and More. He is Razor Blades and More. So maybe he can set me up with a deal with like a bulk order of blades because it looks like I'm going to start giving out a bunch of blades again. I still want to do some more uh, starter kits. So if anybody has any extra shit laying around the house, I don't need soap. Any like low-end razors, inexpensive stuff that you don't have. Maybe a low-end uh, Mercur or maybe an old Gillette Tech. Anything, any, as long as it's in working condition. And any brushes. I have a couple brushes. I have a couple board brushes, but brushes are also what I'm trying. But I have a shitload of soap. I'm going to thin out my own herd. And also, uh, Amanda Stock from Tiki Bar Soaps, she um, set me up with some soaps too. Uh, some stuff that was either like measured wrong or so whatnot. Making sure the dogs are behaving themselves, you know. So I'm going to go and wet my face here. Now, Buster had said, I could have sworn that he said that the Savile Row had more backbone than this brush. Loading it, it felt like this had significantly more backbone than a Savile Row, but we'll see. Hmm. Oh, this is nice. No, so I have to, I have to disagree with Busta on this one. This I think has less backbone than a Salvo Row. Again, I'm gonna test it for a few days, and it wasn't one of those travel tubes uh, that uh, Zach, uh, Zach likes to shave. Um, everybody always references him as Zach likes to shave, even though he's put his last name on Facebook a long time ago, but whatever. <sighs> Put it in one of those travel tubes. And it made the, the bristles stand up straight. So that may be just kind of resetting because it, so that might give you the illusion of more backbone. But again, I'm gonna try this baby out. At least it's gonna be the next about three, four shaves, so. Today I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the mongoose. This is going to be actually the first time I ever used the mongoose head on the Dr. Bomber handle. Usually I use it on the Big Bomber. So it's going to be a little bit of a different experience here for me. I don't know why. I never did. I never used it. 
on this, but I just I have it. So if you guys hear any noise in the background, like rustling around or water, somebody just happened to turn on the damn washer right as I'm about to start this. So forgive me if it's distracting. So let's see. And I'm not 100% sure how long this blade has been in this razor, but it's been a long time. So it's going to be the last shave regardless. Um, these Feather Pro blades last forever, man. I've never tried to cut like really long hair with the mongoose and I know uh, Wesley Allen had some struggles with it. I love this razor. There's a fly. See, I always have that one cursed fly in here and it's, it's I think at this point it's fucking laughing at me now. See how fast I'm able to just kind of get through the hair? And this with an old ass blade. It's just easy to use and I, I just can't. At least they're not a very sensitive part, how they could cut themselves. But doing the basic stuff, with the grain and against the grain, I can't imagine myself uh, cutting myself. I have make myself right here on the Adam's apple. And that's because there is an Adam's apple and go in this direction. So it's an awkward direction and an awkward spot on the face. I have nicked myself. Not even much of a cut, just a small nick. Um, so I don't know, I, I don't know how people, but again, everybody has their preferences. Just a hell of a job, uh, Brute and Matt, Bruce and, uh, and Matt on this stuff. I can't wait till the Luma Goose comes out because I just, um, at first, not even at first, but for a long time, I preferred heavier razors and I still love heavier razors you son of a bitch that one fly so that, that thing's gonna drive me nuts forever um oh I'm gonna get you when we're done here um but especially when I revisited the the razor rock style slant the aluminum version and also Douglas's um Phoenix Double OC. There's a lot to. There's a lot of positives for light razors. Now I don't feel them, and it might be the momentum. The heavier razors just feel a little sturdier and just kind of slice through. Kind of like using like a wedge, uh, straight razor. I don't feel that they fly through. You get like momentum. Heavier bats, they, you know, swing a heavier bat in baseball, they say they deliver more power to the ball. Lighter bats, a little bit more for quicker speed and contact. Kind of the same concept. This is this is shaving with power. But those, those small ones, man, those light ones, they just kind of fly and just real easy to maneuver. And it, it, there's just, a, I, I could, and now I'm able to see the benefits of both. You know, getting older and wiser. That's even why I put a little bit lighter handle on this thing right now. Maybe I'll try one of those titanium ones that uh, I think Justin has from Hempel. I think he still has a couple, so maybe I'll pick up one eventually. Again, being as big as it is, it's just really easy to maneuver. And that's awesome. More is two plastic done. This this brush is nice. It uh, I would say that the Savile Row is softer, but this one is more densely packed, and which is giving more backbone, man. And it's, it's just I'm actually really really impressed with this knot. At least this go around. Okay, this may be the easiest of the tests because the cream may be finicky. Maybe this retains too much water and a little funky, maybe like a small bonus, but maybe.
or maybe it really doesn't have enough backbone to tackle one of the hard soaps. So we'll see. It's gonna be a quick ass video, like only like 10 minutes, huh? Hey, welcome back to my buddy, Christopher Bailey. Welcome back to the video game, brother. Hopefully you could uh, continue to have some prosperous shaves with us. Because we do miss your opinions. I know we get some weirdos. We get those assholes. I got a couple trolls. And I can only, and again, if I have to deal with it, I can only imagine the shit that Bailey would have to deal with. Again, the amount of followers I have, or subscribers, whatever you want to call it, it may be like one fifth of what Bailey has to deal with. And same thing with Nick Shaves. Nick Shaves, man, it's even, I'm not, I'm even farther away from that guy, so who knows? Who knows the fucking nutty bastards that those guys have to deal with? Cause I know I have to deal with those dudes that you just know either their wives are cheating on them or they sit in their mother's basement in their underwear eating Cheetos and got nothing better to do than to heck with us on, on, on YouTube here. Very nice. So, of course, the Mongoose delivers an excellent shave. Have no issue with that whatsoever. That brush, man, it's a... Uh, I may have to get over the ugly handle, but of course the new handles are a little nicer looking. They're black and gray. Those are definitely my type of colors. The handle, the, the, the green is hideous. But those hairs, pretty damn nice. That's some pretty good, this is some pretty damn good backbone. And, oh, you see, look at, there's plenty of lather still left in this mug. Let's see. You see that there. So, it passes the first test. Um, yeah, my next one will probably be with a hard soap. You know, God be with this brush, see if we can get through. But I'm pretty much done. And again, just for the sake of matching my shave, I'm going to go with the Barbersaw Aftershave Brisk. All green shave. That's why I even went with the, also went with the silver, uh, a silver uh, DE or razor in general, just because simple fact that It'll go with anything. So, hey guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for everybody that's been supporting SoulSharpLimited.com. Me and my family really appreciate you. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go check out a post that I shared on Instagram. It was Angela's uh, Shave of the Days. She did a video with my shirt. I really appreciate her and her dad, Omar, um, for supporting the cause. And, um, you know, just thank you. You know, all you guys that order uh, shirts and sweaters from us, man, just trust me. I, I look at you guys as family and I appreciate you guys' sacrifice. To show a little love to us, man, and uh, just thank you. We still have a only a couple sweaters left. Uh, I have a I have one three X and one two X left on the hoodies. Once those goes, I may order some more. Um, still have the women's tees. Still have the 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 shave life in black shirts and the true classic in the tar. The tar is like a really dark charcoal gray, which I just love the look at it. It's different. Um, it's not a huge, you may not think it's a huge difference from black, but once you see it in person, you're like, yeah, that's pretty dope. So thank you guys for your business. Thank you guys for any future business you might throw my way. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to drop them below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.